Hi, welcome to Atlantic College ICS 340 online courses. My name is Kevin Ryan. I'll be your instructor today for a thermocouple lab experiment. Now for the laboratory experiment for this one, we will need a 644 rose mount transmitter, a J-type thermocouple, a beaker, a digital thermometer, a, a retort stand, hot plate, crushed ice, and a milliamp calibrator. Now for the first part of this lab, we're going to be using a J-type thermocouple. A J-type thermocouple is uh, based on a principle by Thomas Seebeck, which is called the Seebeck effect. Two dissimilar metals will create an electromotive force. This electromotive force is a difference that will be outputted in millivolts. The metals that will be used today in a J-type thermocouple is iron and constantin. Now for the first part of this lab, we're going to connect our transmitter up to a power supply. It's very important to note that we never connect a transmitter to a live source right away. So when we go to connect our transmitter, we connect the red and the black leads. The red being our positive lead to the positive of our power supply then to the positive port of our milliamp calibrator into the milliamp slot, then take another wire and close our series loop out of our calibrator to complete our loop of our power supply. Now next step, we will connect our J-type thermocouple. Also note, with the J-type thermocouple with North American color code standards, the red sheathing on the wire is actually the negative wire. So we will plug a thermocouple to these Pomona jacks. Now the, through these Pomona jacks, it is wired right internally to the transmitter. Now since our transmitter is connected properly here in a series loop, we can apply power to it. Now for the first portion of our lab, we are going to insert the J-type thermocouple into our retort stand and right directly into the water. We're going to take our milliamp reading, which from 0 to 100 degrees Celsius will be interpolated between 4 and 20 milliamps. 0 degrees Celsius being our 4 milliamps and 100 degrees Celsius being our 20 milliamps. Now currently, Whoops. Currently we are reading 99.8 degrees Celsius and our transmitter is reading 19.635 but it's slightly changing so I'll wait. Currently we are at 99.8 degrees Celsius and we're reading 19.84 milliamps. Now we're going to decrease our temperature by 10 degrees using ice. We'll slowly turn off our heat and introduce the ice. Our next point will be 90 degrees Celsius. From time to time, you may see me increase the element temperature. It's very important to have that temperature at the right degree Celsius in order to make sure that we are getting an accurate measurement. At 90 degrees Celsius, we are reading 18.14 milliamps.
At 80 degrees Celsius, we are reading 16.58 milliamps. At 70 degrees Celsius, we are reading 14.92 milliamps. Now down to 60 degrees. At 60 degrees Celsius, we are reading 13.22 milliamps. Now down to our halfway point of 50 degrees Celsius. At this point, we should see roughly 12 milliamps. At 50 degrees Celsius, we are reading 11.95 milliamps.